Hey, how's it going everyone? We're playing another Flash game today. We're going to be playing Amorphous Plus. As usual, this was one of my favorite games um, as a kid. Um, it's one of the more simpler ones, but it just has those elements that really scratches an itch in my brain. You know, different types of enemies, stuff like that. So here's what we're going to do. So we did practice last night. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and reset all save data. Yes. So we're going to start a fresh copy here. So we're going to go through everything for the first time. Um, I'll guess I would go through the instructions, but you know what I'll do? I'll just do it, um, um, you know, along with you guys. So let's do a bounty run. Let's do, um, you know what? Actually, no, let's do, let's do a single nest and a small one. So you've got a character. I've got a big knife. The dude follows my cursor and whatever direction my cursor is facing, I swing. The game is quite literally as simple as that. If I hit multiple uh, of these little jelly things, or they're called globs in this game, I get multiple points. And there's a bunch of different game modes depending on, you know, um, how far I can get, how many points I can get, blah, blah, blah. Now, <clears throat> there are many types of these globs. These are just the simple green ones that you see at the beginning of the game. Of course, since I just reset my data, um, oh, okay, there's another type. That's an acid glob. If I break it, it spits acid on the floor. And if I step in that, I die. And so do other globs. But I have to remember that it, if I get hit by it, I also die. So if I step in its juices, I die, but I can't get hit by it either. And over time, as we get farther and farther into this, you will see more and more types of globs. All right, there's the sticky glob. That one, when it breaks, it drops goo on the floor and it slows me now this is very easy and this is not that bad um but even these simple creatures will actually become quite dangerous later so oh, okay so there's another one when they combine like that it creates a big glob and it actually can swallow me up so um see like i can hit these green things and i won't die those big ones i will die and most enemies i see from here on out will do that where they will kill me when they touch me um, but what I was going to say is, it might not seem very hard, but remember, if I hit this green thing, it bounces me and it stuns me. Later, when we get things that will instantly kill me and go very fast, if I accidentally hit a green one and bounce and get stunned, I'm basically instantly dead. So, um, that's kind of the thing with this game, is it, it might seem easy at first, but once you get into these higher levels, when, um these things come so those things jump right at you these things multiply and shoot things at you to slow you down and i ran into acid because i'm a genius new high score okay so that is the basic premise of the game we got one key um i think you just get like one key pretty early on for a reward now i know what all these rewards do like this is a wall this is a grenade it's a lure that's a speed this decreases spawns Oh, I think that decreases spawns. That's a razor blade. The one that I really want is this one. It's actually armor, and it will take one hit for me. So this is, in my opinion, the most busted thing. This secret one, uh, I think it's a bigger knife, or maybe just a cooler knife. But this is definitely goaded, so I know that, and I'm going to buy it first off the bat. And so I... This is weird. With, with these Flash games, I usually try to finish the game. There's no really finishing this game. You just kind of do runs, right? Um, so that's, I guess, what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do, and then uh, we're just going to do, like, bounty runs. So there's rewards, there are awards, and I already got a few of them just from that one match. There's the bestiary, so these are the things I've already met. I'm going to try to meet everything today. Now, what we can do is go to, I think, hardcore mode, although I don't know how to do it. It was there before. We can go to hardcore mode, but not. I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, so we can do these nests. But I think we're going to go and do Bounty Run, which is basically like an endless dive, so it just keeps getting harder and harder and harder. And we're going to do Difficulty Ramp up fast. So, yeah, as you can see, I have red armor on me. Meaning now, I can actually take one hit before dying. Which is actually very overpowered, considering this is like the only... I think this is the only power in the game that actually just gives me an extra life. Um, and... Especially if you're really good at this game and you're the type of person where you don't tend to lose very easily um, One extra life is crazy overpowered because you'll only get hit once every whatever, you know 10-15 minutes 
Well, this just increases your score to double to 30 minutes because you can avoid one hit. So, um, it's pretty nuts. Learn. Uh, so I'm going to try to utilize it my best and not die for a very long time. And then even after I die, it's okay because I still have one more life. Um, so we're going to run around and just keep smacking these small green ones until the big boys come in. The big boys will come in very soon. Um, the difficulty ramp is on high. So we won't be facing these small green ones for very long. Ooh, there's that blue one. Those little like head. They're, I call them blue head crabs. But there's actually another type of creature that does something similar. Oop, there's a big old rock. I'm pretty sure I just can't destroy that. So, I haven't... I'm not an, like a complete expert at this game. I don't know every single thing there is to know. So, I know that thing. I can't destroy it. I don't know anything else or how to destroy it. Oop. All I know is I can't destroy it. See, in that case, I don't know... Oop, that thing, I don't know if I can kill. And I'm kind of scared to find out. Okay. I can't kill it. Noted. Head crab. Let's go ahead and do that. Maybe... Nope. Okay, that thing does not get destroyed by that. Okay, see, I don't know how to kill that thing, actually. I'm not actually sure what to do about that. Huh. See, if I got hit by that green thing, I would have probably be dead right there. Um... What do I do? What do I do? I don't know how to kill that thing. Stay away! Okay, these purple things are going to get me killed. I really have to be careful. There's no... Okay, that's the furry thing that I was talking about. Oh! See? Oh, that thing jumped. I don't... Ooh. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, there's another one. The, the ink thing. I don't know what that ink thing does. Let's go ahead and destroy that. We need to destroy these little purple small things. Because they're going to grow and they're going to cause me a nuisance. Oh, there's the blue head crab. I see... It's a good strategy to stay away from the sides. If you accidentally have to... F Ooh, I got hit by a Freezy. Oh, no! Woo! We barely... S I be Ooh! I'm insane. Yeah, like, if you stay by the sides, you... Whoa, what in the world is that thing? I've never seen that thing before. Okay. Wait, that's actually the... That's actually the first time I've ever seen that thing. Woo! What do I do? Alright. That was a first. Yeah. Again, I played actually quite a bit last night, and I've never seen that thing. So this just freezes me. Where in the world? Queen. A certain size. Though a process not a queen for is much more color. Cool. Well, what are we at? Eight minutes? Let's do a few more runs. Let's do a small nest size. Let's just... If we're going to end off the video, I just want to finish something. A, a small nest size is something that can theoretically be done here. So, this game is quite hard. Uh, yeah, that's, I guess, one thing that I do appreciate about Flash games is they are quite hard. A lot of games are a little too easy nowadays. So something like this, obviously, I guess the basic controls aren't hard, but to get very far into the game, it is hard. You guys just saw what I just had to think. There was those blue head crabs lunging at me. There was pools of acid everywhere. There was a giant goop queen that seemed to be able to hit me across the map. Meanwhile, there's purple things shooting at me, slowing me down. There's these green things wanting to bounce me and stun me. There, there's the, the ink thing, there's the giant... Like, there, there's constantly stuff being thrown at you, and you have to be very good at moving in the right places. So if you want to get far into the game, it's actually... See, okay, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have got bounced there. It's actually quite difficult. Um, but the difference... Well, I guess, but the thing about it is... God, this game is so much fun. It's so simple, it's so stupid, but it's so much fun. Because there's not some crazy story, plot, complexity, power-ups. It's simple. You have a cursor, and you have a swing. There's multiple enemies, there's progression. It's full of exciting moments when you do something sick, like dodge a blue head crab. Like, it's just a fun game. And I know 10-year-old little David absolutely had a blast. Right, blue head crab. Ooh! Blue head crab, blue head crab, get out of here. Those things are definitely like my least favorite. 
Bonk. Yeah, it has to be the... Yeah, these purple things are the bane of my existence because actually one run that I had that went a while, what ended up happening is I left too many of the purple things on the screen and they ended up multiplying into like 10 or like 10 of them. And then they were all shooting me with their purple things. And when they shoot you with the purple thing, it slows you down. So I ended up getting shot like 10 times and it was at the point where I couldn't move. They actually surrounded me and made me stop moving, which was scary considering all the things that come at you. Um, I actually ended up surviving it, which was pretty in Alright, see right here? I need to do a little bit of dodging. Go and throw acid at the blue thing, destroy both of those. Yeah, the acid pools are actually very useful in that um, they actually stop a lot of the enemies. See, I need to get rid of these purple things. Like, a lot of blue head crabs actually end up running into the acid pools, which is quite useful for me. But I also I need to prioritize killing these blue things, because those are one of the biggest just direct threats to me, is having a blue thing lunge at me. Oop, uh, I'm in danger. I need to get the sticky away from me, I'm in danger. Okay, this one. Ooh. Purple thing, go away, I don't like you. Oop, we got big goop. I got 42 left. I can't die now. Oops. Uh, okay. I need, I need to be a little careful. I'm almost at the end here. I know they're going to start throwing some things at me. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But if I can destroy a lot of these green things right now, I can maybe end the mission before something absolutely butter, nutter butter comes at me. Alright, a little more. Okay, well, I, I also forget that I have the power-up for the red suit. Which, again, if you ever play this game, just instantly buy it. It's nuts. I don't know how anyone plays this game without buying it. I think I need to just... Yep, that's clear. Okay. Ayo. Hardcore mode unlocked. Okay, so this is uh, hardcore mode now, where all the gloops come. Alright, well, let's try a big nest. Let's see if we can finish a big nest. And then after, maybe we'll go to a huge nest. We'll see how that works out for us. Okay, so, um, this is, as far as what I know in the game, I've actually reached my limit already. Last night, I played about until here. Um, I got the red suit, and I finished a small nest, so everything from here on out, I actually haven't done before yet. So, um, yeah, let me... Can I, like, turn down... Let me... This can be a little dangerous. Okay, there we go. I just turned down the audio in OBS. I wanted to make sure you guys could hear me a little bit here. So, yeah. Everything is kind of new from here, but... I've already experienced a couple things that I didn't see yesterday. Partly the queen. I did not see that queen yesterday. I got very far in a lot of bounty runs, and I never saw that queen. So, actually, that bounty run might have been a high score... Considering I didn't see it last night, which is actually pretty cool the fact that um, I I got To a higher score on camera. So that's oh, the they blocked that blue thing out of the way So that is I'm pretty impressed with myself Ooh, head crab and you can dodge those that that's the thing Once you become good at just like well, I guess you just say just knowing their patterns of how they jump like you can they're they're really not hard to dodge so th things become much, much easier once you just learn, like, the simple pattern of how things move and how things splat and the best way to, like, you know, swing your knife. Like, right here, I'm just going to go like that, destroy both of them. So, okay, see, in that, that was an instance where not much I could have kind of done. I had to die. I, okay, there was something I could have done, but it was, I wouldn't have known that the blue thing would have lunged, I dodge up, I get hit by a green thing, and then I instantly get splattered by acid. And the acid is really the only one that my red armor doesn't help against. Because the acid will hit me, it'll take my armor, and then I'm still in the acid, and it will kill me. So, um, the red armor is really, really good against the furries, the blues, anything that hits me once and then either gets destroyed or runs away. The acid is the only thing that's like, no, um, 
You're going to die twice. Blue. Blue head crab. Okay. Let's try to finish this nest for sure. And then maybe we'll move over to a huge nest. Although, I have doubts with the huge nest because I might end up facing another queen. And I'm still not 100% sure how to kill it. Um, oh, wait a minute. Okay, let's. We're gonna go ahead and finish this nest. I totally forgot that there's a practice mode. Let's go fight the queen in practice mode, and I could try to maybe see how to kill it. So when we get to that huge nest, and inevitably we'll see something, we'll be able to more easily kill it. So let's go ahead and do that. But first, let's try to finish this big nest. Okay, that nest is hard. Let's go to practice. Let's put just the queen out there. Let me see, can I? How how do I kill this thing? Yeah, I'm not actually sure how to kill it. Yeah, that wasn't it. Cause it seems like anywhere I swing, it protect its protects itself. Um, and then we'll probably end off the video. Um, oh, Frosty. Oh, there's just... Yep, there is all the creatures. And I... That was very chaotic. Okay, let's go and retry that. Um, and I can do farther, further videos if you guys want of this game. Try to do some more crazy things I could try to maybe finish one of those huge nests or I don't know get some of the achievements that are one of the harder ones can definitely do that you guys just have to let me know leave me alone furry oh head crab oh I'm in trouble again the second any of the acid hits me it's done if anything else hits me it's okay but if the acid hits me I'm kind of done so there. Whoops. Oh, that's what that thing does. It blinds me for a while. Okay. I was wondering what that thing did. I thought, well, that's kind of useless. It just runs around and does nothing. Okay. And somehow we actually survived it. So that was interesting. No. Woo! Oh. Okay, more rocks, more rocks, blue head crabs, get wrecked. I just want to see some of the new creatures, that's what I'm looking for here. I just want to fill out that bestiary. Get out of here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dodging. Ink, ooh, I need to get out of the way of this rock. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Yeah, those, those ink things are... Basically asking to lose. There we go. Yeah, the blue head crabs and the furries end up becoming really easy. Ooh. Really? I died from that? Dang it. I mean honestly I'm not I'm not really mad that I died. I'm just, I want to see new creatures, and I, I think I need to get a little farther to see new creatures. Obviously, I can just Google what the creatures are, but I don't want to do that. I want to just see them for the first time. Kind of like the queen. Seeing the queen for the first time was uh, quite jarring. And I still don't really know how to kill it, so that's the most interesting part. You'd think in this game, it's you'd figure out a very simple solution to most things, but the queen, I still don't know how to kill it. Where are you going, little furry man? Dang it, he got away. Those things give me points. I, I want to kill those for sure. <gasps> the fire thingy. Okay, that thing, if it hits me, everything explodes. I actually lost my armor because I'm dead either way. Dang it. Okay. Well, yeah, the, if the fire th thing explodes even anywhere near you, you end up just dying instantly. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. So, oh, oh no, snowballs, snowballs. No! Oh, so I have to actually hit those snowballs. Dang it, I'm getting chomped on. 
gonna retry that. I have to hit those snowballs. Okay, so that's noted. I actually didn't know that. I didn't know that I I didn't know that I couldn't dodge them. I have to hit them or they're gonna chase me down. That is noted in my book. My little book that is my brain. Can I still get frozen? What in the world are we talking about here? Oh, I'm in trouble. This big thing's gonna follow me now. One more. Oop! There we go. Bop. No, thank you. Two things are gonna lunge at me. There's acid there. Oh, lord. Get a haircut. Oh, there's that fire thing. I need to get away from that. If it explodes, I'm, I'm kind of toast. Okay. Kind of using the run around method and just try not to die instead of attacking. Okay, see, I can't hit that thing or it'll explode and kill me. Okay, I don't even know if this is the right maneuver here. Instead of trying to kill things, I'm just trying to outmaneuver them. Which I don't think it. I'm technically not progressing into the game. Did I make a mistake coming up to the northern quadrant? Maybe. Nope, I'm good. Okay, let's get back to killing things. That was just a little dangerous there, and I got a little scared. So I thought maybe I should just learn to... Ooh, that's why you don't stay at the edge of the map. You end up... Oh, that thing can't hit me. That thing can't hit me. So at the edge of the map, things tend to jump out at you. Okay, defense. There we go. Woo, we're getting good at the game. Look at us go. Look at us go, dude. We're insane. Woo, my mouse. Woo. We're crazy. I'm dead. Dang it. Woo! That, that was kind of exciting, though. I kind of liked that. How many... Oh, we're missing a couple of things still, though. Dang it, man. How did we see nothing new that whole time does? I like my blue suit better, though. Let's go ahead and get uh, this thing. Repulsor. Interesting. I'm still going to keep my red suit, because I like the red suit the best. Okay, guys. We're going to go ahead and end the episode off here. I know I didn't see everything in the bestiary, but um, if you guys want, comment and we'll do another video. And we'll try to find these last couple of things. I'm sure they shouldn't be that hard to find, but thanks for watching, guys.